Hi everyone, Gina here with Balanced Body Solutions and today I want to give you guys some tips on how to kind of prepare and recover from your pacemaker. Um, this is some stuff that I've kind of used over the years with uh, patients that had shoulder surgery, just in, in general shoulder surgery um, and physical therapy and these little tips can really make things a lot easier for you. So one of the things that's super important is to have some type of pillow, some kind of a small pillow. You can take a towel um, and even put tape around like a rolled up towel. That can work just as well. But you're gonna want something when you're in this sling all the time that you can put underneath just to put your shoulder in a slightly different position. Um, when you are sitting down, you can also kind of take it and prop your arm up just a little bit, just to give it a break from that same position <clears throat> all the time. Um, you also might find that lying down, uh, completely flat in bed, may be extremely uncomfortable. Um, you can obviously try to kind of the same scenario for lying down, kind of let your arm rest here. Um, having my shoulder relaxed back in the bed was a bit uncomfortable for me. Um, so I actually was placing just a, like a small towel even behind here to keep it forward a bit because it just seemed to really stretch and be uncomfortable. Um, you also have the option of lying on your side and you would do the same thing here on your side. I actually found my side with my arm just a hair forward, um, kind of resting on a pillow. I found that to be uh, the most comfortable for me personally. Recliners are also a good option. Um, if you find that this lying flat is just really uncomfortable, um, a lot of people will find recliners to be um, their best bet. You know, it's not as great as when I'll just lie and rest in bed, but you know, maybe even for a few days, uh, first few weeks, you might find that a bit more comfortable. Another thing to think about is just getting dressed. Um, you're not going to be able to reach overhead to put like a shirt on a regular shirt. So a button up shirt is a really good option because you can just simply slide it up over your arm. That way you don't have to worry about trying to get your arm up. And then for the ladies specifically, uh, bras. This is a really big um, issue for a lot of women and they're kind of just left, we don't know what to do. Um, most women do hook and unhook the bras in the back. Well, I'll tell you first thing is you can hook in the front and then twist it around and then get your arms in that way. So that's an option if you wanna kinda of keep like your typical bra. Um, but I found like a really super stretchy bra. I think I got this at Walmart. Um, I actually took the bra and I would put it um, over my legs and I pulled it up that way and then put my arms in. Um, I like this one because it was just stretchy and comfortable in general. Um, and then the strap, I found you know uncomfortable coming across the pacemaker. So I actually just took the strap and kind of tucked it under my armpit and that worked really well um, as well. So I'm hoping these are a few things that you guys can um, hopefully get your hands on before you have the surgery because it's gonna make it a lot easier to kind of just prepare for it. Um, but I hope that helps.